Controlling the operation of ships. Safe working practices during birthing and birthing and anchoring. Birthing and unbirthing. Along with the personal safety gear, the crew should be protected against the prevailing weather. In wet weather, they should be wearing raincoats and rain boots. Similarly in freezing weather, they should equipped with woolens, monkey caps, thermal underwear and socks. In wet and freezing weather, precautions should be taken against skidding on the decks. In freezing weather winches should be started at least 30 minutes in advance to warm up the oil and ensure oil circulation before using the winches. Always check the level of the oil in the tank before starting up the mooring winches for and aft. In hot weather ensure that the cooling water is running for the mooring winches. Deasing compound should be sprinkled on deck to melt the ice. Keep well clear of lines when they are being heaved up. Do not stand in the vicinity of the line or your leg will get entangled with the line when it is running out. While transferring the lines from the drum to the stopper a double stopper will ensure that he line will be tight on the bollard. If there are chances of the stopper parting, let go the stopper. Do not keep the tug line on the drum, always keep it on the bollard. Mooring lines can be kept on the drum, finishing off with a half hitch to prevent it from slipping. When using auto tension winches, the winch will adjust the tension on the ropes automatically when it is set on auto tension mode. When a fresh wind is blowing, change over from auto to manual mode to prevent the winch from slacking the line when the tension on the rope increases. Anchoring. Before using an anchor, a competent seafarer must check that the brake is securely on and then clear all securing devices. A responsible person must be put in charge of the anchoring party with a suitable means of communication with the vessel's bridge. The anchoring party should wear protective clothing including safety helmet, safety shoes, gloves and goggles to protect from injury by rust particles and debris that may be thrown off the cable during the operation. Where the noise levels generated may be harmful, hearing protection may be used. Before the anchor is let go, a check must be made that there are no small craft or other obstacles under the bow. As a safety precaution, it is recommended that the anchor is walked out clear of the pipe before letting go. Cable should store automatically. If, for any reason, it is necessary for seafarers to enter the cable locker, they must first take proper precautions for entering an enclosed space. They should stand in a protected position and be in communication with the windlass or capstan operator.